Hey, what's going on guys? So since this is a brand new uh, client, I kind of wanted to take you guys through the process of what it is that we do whenever we begin doing the on-page, uh, the initial on-page implementations. And before we do that, we do a little bit of research and um, I found a way that we can pretty much find out what Google is really rewarding by reverse engineering the competition on a, not only on a local, but on a national scale. So I'm going to take you guys through what it is that I do whenever I uh, begin the initial on page SEO research, specifically for local clients. So we mainly work with home service contractors. So what we normally do is we'll take like the main keyword. So the main keyword, obviously it's in their business name as well as basement waterproofing. So they also provide other services, but considering basement waterproofing is their main, it's like their main uh, bread and butter. That's what, that's the keyword we're going to run with. And that's what we're going to use to um, primarily optimize their homepage for. So. Let me go ahead and take you guys through that. Um, so first you'll need an SEO tool, something like SEMrush. Um, and then basically what I do is I'll go into SEMrush or any other SEO tool and I'll put the base keyword. So it's going to be uh, basement waterproofing. That's just the base keyword. And then I like to add the modifier near me. So this is going to make it uh, more specific so that we can, so that SEMrush will pull uh, local competitors. So like if, if a local website or like if a, if a local water, a local basement waterproofing company is ranking for basement waterproofing near me on a national uh, level, at least that SEMrush picks up, um, that typically means that their website is pretty well optimized. Um, so we can pretty much reverse engineer that and obviously modify it for our local area. So we're going to do that. So you would take whatever base keyword you have, whether that's uh, home remodeling, whether that's roofing, electrician, plumbing, uh, hair salon, any base keyword that uh, you want to rank for, and then just add near me to the end of it, and then revert, and then we're gonna reverse engineer it. So we're gonna scroll down, and then we're gonna take a look at uh, the SERP analysis feature. Um, so typically what I do is I look at the companies that are actual local businesses. So we avoid Angie's List, we'll avoid BBB, we avoid Home Advisor, Yelp, right? These are, these are just lead gen uh, or business directory websites. So we want to actually look at actual local companies like this one, basementsystems.com, emergencyplumbingsquad.com, um, americandry.com. Now, what I normally like to look at um, websites that their homepage is ranking for. If you pay attention right here, um, these are actually like um, service pages. Um, so you'll see that uh, we have emergencyplumbingsquad.com slash basement waterproofing near me. So we'll see that this is actually like a service page of some sort. Um, let me actually open it just so you guys can get an idea. Yeah, so this is just like a service page, it looks like. Um, and they're actually adding near me on the URL. So if we go to the home page, uh, you'll see that it's just americandry.com. They are a basement waterproofing company. Um, and then, yeah, so you'll see that their actual service page is actually ranking instead of the home page. Um, and that's okay sometimes, but for, for a general idea, um, I like to just grab whatever websites their homepage is ranking for, because that typically means that the homepage is very well optimized. Um, so you'll see right here, if we go to the second page, we'll see these websites right here. So you'll see this is just the homepage, right? So the homepage is actually ranking for basement waterproofing near me. Um, this is another one, this is another one, this is another one. And then what I like to see is I like to actually look at how much search traffic they are getting. So you'll see that this, a uh, URL right here gets 262 searches a month. Uh, this one gets 550 searches a month. 
these guys get 1.6 thousand searches a month so that would be a good website to look at um, because they're getting quite a bit of traffic so i'll just go ahead and open that up and then this one also is getting over 700 so i'll open that up and now what we do is we'll just take a look at um, these websites not that one but so this one right here so these guys are ranking very well this is jameson so they were actually getting over 1.6 thousand searches a month from their seo so this is what i would go into and then reverse engineer what these guys are doing right so first of all i'd want to take a look at what are their service pages what how are they structuring out their website so we'll see that they have their different uh, top level category services. So basement waterproofing, cross space repair, sump pumps, and then their other services. So we'll see, you see how they have their services nicely categorized. So they have their top level uh, service, and then they have the supporting service pages. So this is, this is the right way to structure out your website um, because these pages right here, if you do them correctly, um, they're all going to support this main page right here. And it's just going to boost up that authority um, to this top level service page. So this is going to give you the most juice. This is going to give you the most authority um, by doing it this way. So this is this is how I would go about um, restructuring our clients' websites. As you can see, they had very basic SEO um, done here before. Uh, we started working with them so they don't even have any supporting service pages or anything like that um, and their service pages have very little content on them um, like probably 300 words of content if that so let's go back so this is what i would make a note of right so first of all see their home page we can actually take a look at what's their um title tag here using seo minion so their title tag, Foundation Waterproofing in PA, and then they have the brand name onto that. Then if we take a look at their H1, they have the main keyword, Premier Basement Waterproofing Contractor in Philadelphia, PA. Basement Waterproofing and Cross Space. Okay. Philadelphia, PA. Got it. So these guys are actually really close, um, but our client is over in Telford, PA. So, okay. Good to know. Um, so yeah, so this is what I would pretty much do. I would just go through these websites and see what their keywords, what their keywords are, um, and just get an idea of how we should lay out our website and structure our website as well. Um, so this is the initial initial phase that I would do. And then I would do a local uh, competitor analysis to just see like the local competition. A lot of the times, um, many of these local companies will have really basic websites. So it won't really give you much, um, much insights, right? And that's why I like to do a national search so I can see what websites are actually ranking on a national level for like near me keywords. So that's, um, that's going to give you much more insights because typically if they're ranking um, on the first page for those, that means they are highly optimized and typically they're getting a lot of bit, a lot of traffic. So you can really reverse engineer them. Right. So this is how, exactly how I would structure it. And then I would also make sure to build out these additional supporting pages as long as the client can provide the service. Right. Um, another thing we want to take a look at is if they have a blog, see if we can pull up their sitemap. So to check out the sitemap, you just do sitemap.xml. If they're on WordPress, it should show up. Yeah. Um, so I just want to see if they have any blog posts, first of all. So we'll go to the posts. Looks like they have about 14. Um, not anything crazy. This can also give you ideas on things to blog about. Um, so that's one thing that I would do right here is check out what these companies are actually blogging about and see if we can also use these to improve our um, SEO campaign. Um, not, there's actually not much uh, relevant ideas here. It looks like they actually use it more for like um, 
events. A lot of these are like events and things that they're sponsoring or stuff like that. So let's go back to the page section. So we'll go into the page and then we'll actually see what, um, okay, let's refresh that. All right, so now we're in the page um, sitemap folder and now we can take a look at what are the pages that they have on their website. Um, and typically this is gonna be the main uh, bulk of why they rank so high for for um, that keyword. So this is really what we wanna pay attention to, um, basement waterproofing. So these are some of the pages we would want to also have um, on our client's website. Uh, drainage system, great drain, great trench. So it looks like they do have a lot more uh, supporting pages than they actually have on the actual menu, right? As far as I can see. Uh, meet the team, survey garage ventilation, cross space repair. So like if we pay attention here, um, basement waterproofing, basement waterproofing, leaking, crack repair. Let's see if they have that. I don't know if they have that. Cracks, well cracks. Yeah, see, I don't, um, I don't see that specific page here. Um, basement leaking crack repair. Let's see, let me let me open it up. See if it actually has some content on it. Um, because sometimes it, sometimes they just created the page and they actually didn't even. Uh, complete it, but it looks like they did. They actually do have a page. It doesn't have much content on it, but it has, you know, they're targeting leaking crack repair services. So, but if you, if you pay attention, they don't have this actual page under the actual main menu. And this happens a lot of the times because um, for whatever reason, sometimes they just try to hide it because maybe they don't actually want it showing, but they want the, the SEO benefits from it. Um, so this is why I like to just take a look at their, kind of see what they're doing on the back end here um, so we can get a, a complete picture. Um, but yeah, so basically we would just want to make note of the pages that we could also uh, create on our website um, and of course create unique content and SEO optimize it. Um, but also let's take a look at just some of their um, service pages, see if they're doing any anything crazy. Um, so they are doing... So I do see that they have quite a bit of internal linking here. Um, and uh, they're basically just internal linking to other service pages, just kind of linking everything together. Um, so, you know, of course, that's something that you should always be doing. Um, and then I do see they have service area pages over here. Um, I didn't see those. Do they have another folder? Jobs, reviews, project. Oh, okay, it's not there. It's not in the projects, reviews, jobs. Maybe jobs. Um. Huh. Okay, so they have a bunch of job pages. It looks like so. This might be. Let me see what they're doing here. Interesting. So they have like these short job pages. Um. Here, I mean, they don't really have any like Google map embeds. They're not really ex external linking anywhere, um, but I guess they're also utilizing these, which um, are, are definitely helpful, but you know, typically you wanna add some more information on here and have like the, the uh, Google map uh, embed of like the area that you serviced or even the address that you serviced and maybe have driving directions back to your back to your uh, GMB location. But then I also noticed they have service area pages. So let's take a look at these. Um, okay, so they also have service area pages. And then it looks like they're actually linking to the, those job pages that they create here. So yeah, so that's another thing. Um, and again, we don't have to do all of this exactly. Um, this is just to get an idea of what some of the top uh, national competitors are doing in this in this industry. So, 
looks like these guys are creating like these short job pages and then they're linking to those from their actual uh, location page. So, and again, these are very short. There's not really much content on here. So, um, but yeah, of course we always do um, service area pages for our clients that service the home. So that's nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, that's primarily what I would do. And then I would pretty much do the same thing um, through these other just go through the other websites that we pulled up in the beginning um, and we'll kind of do the same thing, right? Kind of get a gist of the, the content that they're using, the keywords that they're using. So these guys right here, they're actually using several different, um, there are several different services on the main website, um, servicing, serving, and then they have the areas that they're serving, linking to all their services right here. Um, and these guys, looks like they provide a bunch more services. So um, again, we just want to take a look at what they're doing here. And then I would pretty much go through three of, of uh, the websites that we pull up and, uh, and then kind of just move on from there into the local uh, competition. But like I said, a, um, majority of the time, local competitors are not going to have much to look at anyway. So um, that's why I really like looking at on the national level. But uh, so, yeah, so that's pretty much how we would go about doing um, some on-page SEO analysis um, manually. So I like to do it. I like to do it manually. Of course, you could use uh, tools to help out with this as well. But um, there's always things that tools will not pick up. So it's a lot better to go through it at least once uh, manually and see everything that's being done on the back end as well. So uh, let me know if this was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.